Also making headlines this morning, Harvey Weinstein was fired over the weekend as head of the film studio he co-founded with his brother. The Hollywood mogul faces a string of sexual harassment claims that date back decades. CBS News correspondent Wendy Gillette has more from New York City. Harvey Weinstein is out. Just three days after the New York Times broke the story of decades of sexual harassment allegations made by actresses and employees against the powerful studio head, he was fired Sunday night. Initially, Weinstein had fought back against at least eight allegations of sexual harassment, including claims by actresses Ashley Judd and Rose McGowan. After the story came out, some in the industry said Weinstein's behavior was an open secret. A lot of these allegations probably weren't that surprising to everybody, but at the same time, you know, I do think it's like still kind of a, a shock to see so many people on the record in that story. Weinstein released a statement to the newspaper that read in part, I came of age in the 60s and 70s when all the rules about behavior and workplaces were different. His attorney threatened to sue the Times and Weinstein agreed to an indefinite leave of absence. But the company's board of directors, which includes Weinstein's brother Bob, decided that was not enough. On Friday, news anchor Lauren Savan came forward to say in 2007, Weinstein cornered her in a Manhattan restaurant and explicitly touched himself. Democrats in Congress, including Chuck Schumer and Elizabeth Warren, decided the multiple allegations were too disturbing, saying they're donating Weinstein's political donations to charity. Wendy Gillette, CBS News, New York. Bob Weinstein and the chief operating officer of the company are now in charge.